This is a video of the orbit. So we're gonna take a deeper, closer look at the orbit instead of just kind of naming all the bones around it. I'm just gonna take the cap off and set it to the side here. We're gonna kind of zoom in on the orbit. I'm gonna be using a, just a pen just to kind of outline some of the items here. So first of all, our superior edge of the orbit is part of the frontal bone the lateral part of the orbit and going down onto the inferior. This is the zygomatic bone. And the more medial and inferior part, this is the maxilla or maxillary bone. Just inside the orbit, this bone right in here is known as the lacrimal bone. So the lacrimal bone is kind of more just in the inner quarter of your eye. And there is a fossa known as the lacrimal fossa. And then this bone doesn't really have it, but if we kind of put the pencil down in this location or pen down here, this would be the lacrimal canal. So this is kind of where your tear sac and duct are in this location here. As I turn just to the inside and try to give a little bit of light in it, this location right in here is going to be of the ethmoid bone, so the orbital plate of the ethmoid. Again, above that, this is the frontal plate. To the lateral side now, this first part in here, again, is going to be of zygomatic. And deep down where you can see a few of these holes in here, this is the sphenoid bone. It's not gonna be easy for me to tell, but there is a very, very tiny part of the palatine bone in here as well, um, but I won't be able to isolate that because all everything kinda looks the same color. I am gonna put my pen all the way to the back so you can see this circular opening right in here. This is your optic foramen. Otherwise you could have optic canal because it does make a connection down deeper through there. And then this larger opening, there's one right here known as your supraorbital fissure. And it is not a full cutout in the bone, but kind of like down in this location right in here where I'm pointing at, this is the infraorbital fissure. So that's our closer view of the orbit. Now, even though this is all the same color, I'm just gonna suggest taking a look in Frank Netter's Atlas of Human Anatomy um, because he does a fantastic job of color coding all of the bones and making it easier for you to see exactly what parts are what. So that's gonna conclude our view of the orbit.